All right, so in this problem, I have three to the power of x to the power of three over nine to the power of x is equal to 81. So the first thing is I'm gonna rewrite nine here as three to the power of two. So now I have three to the power of x to the power of three over three to the power of two to the power of x is equal to 81. I'm gonna rewrite as three to the power of four. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times x, which is 3 to the power of 2x. And this is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 3 to the power of x over 3 over 3 to the power of 2x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus 2x, which is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x to the power of 3 minus 2x is equal to 4. So now to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 4 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I have x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to first go ahead and start by checking the solution. So let's first start with x equals 1, because I want to find, I need to find at least one valid solution to this before I can find all the other solutions. So I'm going to first start with x equals 1. If I plug in 1, I get 1 to the power of 3 minus 2 times 1, which is minus 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5, so that wouldn't work. x equals 2. I get 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. 8 minus 2 times 2 is 4, so I have 4 minus 4, which is 0. So x minus 2 is a valid solution. So now, now that I know that x, my, x uh, equals 2 is a solution, this means that x minus 2 is going to be a factor of this. So now I have x minus 2 times something is equal to 0. And this means that if I divide this by x minus 2, I should get what the value of this. So, I have x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 2. And you can either solve this in two ways. You can use long division or synthetic, the synthetic division method. Um, and your result should be that of these two, you should get x squared plus 2x plus 2. So now I have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I have x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, x is obviously equal to 2. And for x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0, you're going to want to use the quadratic formula to solve this. And you should get that x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 2i over 2. So these are my three solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 1 to the power of x squared over 8 to the power of x is equal to 61. So the first thing I'm going to do is it's pretty obvious that 1 to the power of any number is simply 1, meaning whatever the value of x is, 1 to the power of x squared is going to equal 1. So I can just write this as 1 over a to the power of x is equal to 61, because 1 to the power of x squared, that's the same thing as 1. So now I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by a to the power of x. So then these two cancel out, and I have 1 is equal to 61 times a to the power of x. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 61. These two cancel out, and now I'm going to have 1 over 61 is equal to a to the power of x. Now if I take the log on both sides, I have log 1 over 61 is equal to log a to the power of x. And 
8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have log 1 over 61 is equal to log 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of, or sorry, log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. And 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, it's the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. That's going to equal 2 to the power of 3x. And now I can go ahead and move this 3x to the front. So now I have log 1 over 61 is equal to 3x times log 2. So now to solve this, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3 times log 2. So now I'm going to be left with log 1 over 61 over 3 times log 2 is equal to x, because x is the only thing that's remaining here. Now log 1 over 61, this is the same thing as log 1 minus log 61. Now I have this over 3 times log 2, which is equal to x. And now log 1, this is equal to 0. Log 61, this is equal to 1.7853. And 3 times log 2, this is equal to 0 0.9031. So now I have 0 minus 1.7853 over 0 0.9031. And this is equal to negative 1.9769. So x is equal to negative 1.9769. Alright, so in this problem I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 9. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite 20 here as 10 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 9. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 9, which I'm going to rewrite as 3 squared. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 10, and b is 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 3 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. Now if you guys already didn't know, 2 to the power of 10, that's simply equal to 1024. So now I have 1024 plus 3 times 1024 minus 3. And 1024 plus 3, and that's going to be 1027. So I have 1027 times 1024 minus 3, that's 1021. Now, 1,027, I can rewrite as 1,000 plus 27. And 1,021, I can rewrite as 1,000 plus 21. So now I have 1,000 plus 27 times 1,000 plus 21. So to solve this, I'm actually going to distribute. So I'm going to start by distributing the 1,000 here. So I have 1,000 times 1,000, which is 1,000 squared, plus 1,000 times 21, Plus, now I'm going to distribute the 27. So now I have 27 times 1,000 plus 
at the end, 27 times 21. So now first off, 1,000 squared, that simply equals to 1 million. 21 times 1,000, that's 21,000. 27 times, times 1,000 is 27,000. And finally, 27 times 21, that's going to be 567. So now all there's left to do is add all these up. So, so I'm going to start from the end to the beginning. So 567 plus 27,000. That's going to be 27,567. And now this plus 21,000. That's going to be 48,567. And now this plus 1 million, that's 1,048,567. So that is my answer.